Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Neo Scavenger. This is Colonel RPG as usual and I'm very happy that you chose to hang out with me today as we run away. Last episode we found a hidden lake. We went there because some character in the, near Detroit asked us to find this silver horn right here. And he wanted us to bring it back to him, so that's what I did. In the meantime, or while doing it, we got ourselves a nice little scar right there. We got Claude. I think that's how the game presented it to us by a unseen by um, an unseen force. Yes, yes, indeed. That uh, was pretty scary. It was pretty scary. But we persevered. We moved on. We didn't make a fuss. We did actually. And let's we'll gloss over that. Then we managed uh, to bring the urn back, which is good and very nice, very very nice. So today we'll go from here, the Eden Lake, back to Detroit, and we'll try to scavenge around these parts of here, go to south from here, and um, try and. Um, he had some nice loot to sell because on, the, on our way here we found some very nice equipment. We found some packages, we found some nanobot type of thing. We found uh, that's pretty much what we found. But that is very expensive and we are going to sell it when we reach Detroit. Okay, let's see. It's still day, we're tired, but that shouldn't be a problem. I really want to find a um, sleeping bag because uh, that will help us during the night. For now, we don't have none of that, so we are going to just uh, try and scavenge something out of these ruins. And uh, something really isn't looking like much. Today is very windy outside, in real life, over here. Really, really windy. Wind is howling. I'm not sure you can hear it. I think you can because of the noise gate I have on my microphone. And we found a person feral mummy sleeping bag. These things are awesome because we are going to put it in here in our uh, camping bag. And soon enough we'll get to try it out. Oh, look at that. We can't see. Let's see, let's open this locked storage. We don't have a um, lock picking thingy. Must have broken or something. That happens. We're going to build a new one. Hey, come on! Get in there! Oh. Good, good. Thank you, thank you. Oh, not that one, not that one. This one, yes, thank you. Crowbar and a strap, which is good enough because uh, we are going to use both of them together and we'll make a thing that you can put across our backs. And a crowbar is a very uh, nice uh, bit of equipment to have because it allows us to get more loot out of... Um, the loot locations. The lockpicks will get us um, somewhere, but it they won't get us everywhere. We must get some help where we can. Yeah, this is the, uh, the, um, <coughs> the the flesh thingy. I forget the name. There's, oh, okay. Oh. Mm. 24% That's not so good That is not so good, but it's better than nothing I think I might have lost here That's really much of a big deal Put our stuff in there, we don't need this This, we don't really need This, we don't need this This, and we don't need this Because we got plenty of lighters and that's the only reason we were carrying those uh, glass bottles with us in the first place. So we got some painkillers, which is all right. 
think I can put them in there. This. Check that they didn't go wrong place. They did. Desire. Let's put them in here where they belong. They don't get mixed up with the other pills. Okay, we're good to go. I think we got another empty med kit in there, and I think we are good to go. <clears throat> and it's very windy, but I'm, uh, I'm 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 fortunate enough that I live in a country without too many uh, natural tragedies or accidents or something like that. We don't have earthquakes, we don't have tornadoes, we don't have volcanoes, we don't have much flood. Um, and uh, it's pretty cozy in here. Not very hot, not very cold. And uh, so let's sleep now. Still pretty trying now, we're all well, well rested. Be going smoothly overnight. That's, that's about it. Let's put this in our backpack. Not what I meant. This thing over here. Over in ya. And bring our torch with us. It lets us see. Doesn't actually uh, the um, what's it? God damn it. flashlight. Flashlight uh, doesn't actually let us doesn't let us see farther. While at night, that's what the night goggles, night vision goggles are for. But we don't have any of those. We don't have batteries for it. We have nothing. Uh, but it lets us use six moves, uh, five moves. Sorry. Uh, while in complete di darkness, and we're hungry. The problem because we don't have anything to eat. As far as I, we do. It's good. Let's eat this can. Mmm, the taste of metal in my mouth. Chugga chugga cha 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 cha. Oh yeah. And I'm doing the, the, these um horns with my hands right now, so for added effect and hunger. Uh, res restoration. Yeah, cereal. There's there's this uh, Brazilian band. I think uh, it's a mock band or something. They they are called. What are they called? I can't remember. Uh, I forget. Uh, anyway, they are they are like a. They make not copies. That's not they. They make. Satires of uh, Iron Maiden songs and general metal songs. Bullets are very important. They are expensive, and um, they make them with uh, funny lyrics. And one of them is um, about eating metal at the breakfast. I will chips. Sh mm -hmm. I love me some chips. Uh, ships at the breakfast at breakfast though not such a good idea because they are high or in cholesterol and salt and um, fatty stuff that kind of like anyway that that yeah um, oh, we got a laptop which is nice because it's expensive we got crap not needed and got bullets very nice like this always. More bullets, but soon enough we should be needing um, our a gun. Yes, we need a gun. We need a gun and got food, and we need a gun because up north this game, you know, this game being all RNG and stuff. It really lulls you into a sense of false security. It's sort of like, uh, you know, where you start playing a game and it's RPG and all that. This game um, is very different from other RPGs, but nevertheless, uh, you start playing it and you get, okay, I'm, I'm not leveling up, there's no skill levels or anything, but I'm getting loot, I'm getting items, I'm getting pretty good at dealing with the um, odd... Uh, scavenger that comes out my way, so it's uh, things are looking good. Things are looking good, and you see a let's uh, pretend you see a monster, literally, 
in an X and you say, hmm, that's, that's an odd monster right there. And uh, you go towards it and you begin a fight. And the game, this game can kill you in a single turn. You, you haven't seen that in, my, in this Let's Play? Thankfully you haven't seen that, but uh, we're not safe from that. This game can shoot you down literally into the mud and uh, it will give you no reprieve whatsoever. You will just have to start again. New game and that's how it goes. We must be getting pretty close to Detroit. Not really, but I'm not gonna there. And I'm, I'm not gonna go there. I'm gonna drink something. And uh, as I was saying, being all comfy in your own self-belief and all that, you start to get a bit cocky. And uh, next thing you know, you're dead. That's dead. You're dead. Got some pants. I like black pants. They're more metal than these weird beige ones. Beige ones. Beige pants are for the old. Actually, beige pants. I have nothing against beige pants. Let's, let's just let me just make that very clear. If you, if you like beige pants, that's that's totally fine. I'm not mad at you or anything. Sorry about that. About that break. Back to our beige pants. Yes, it's okay if you like beige pants. It's all right, but I prefer black ones. Let's um, wear these for the moment. Let's say that uh, Philip Kindred over here also likes black pants. And uh, yeah, let's go with them. Let's go with them for now. And uh, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say that uh, it's just personal preference. Black pants over here in this game are also more expensive. So should I need to sell them, I'll get more money. They're not really that different from uh, the khaki cargo pants. You'll have nine slots to store your stuff in. So it's not really much of a difference, but they're more expensive. Use them. I need to buy some lighters though. As soon as I get into Detroit, I'm gonna buy me some lighters. These lighters are very important. They allow us to boil water. Let's check our map again. Let's, let's go up here. Up in ya. Thirsty, this dude, this dude. Because I think uh, this um, uh, flashlight. This game, I think, uh, sates our thirst a little bit more if we're thirsty. I tend to ride the curve a bit. I tend to drink. Oh, we got a, uh, another encounter. A tank, long since out of juice. Hexagonal holes here and there give away the adaptive camouflage. Ooh, a tank, you mean literally a tank, a, 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 a war tank. An adaptive, adaptive camouflage, that's fancy. Pride off by enterprising tinkerers. Nobody's bothered to collect the inert hulk, but then why bother? The wars are over, nobody left here to fight them. A wall has collapsed onto it, you can still see the turret, the, imposable, the imposing barrel bent downward by the force of the rubble. You run your hand over the hull. It has the texture of a hardened LCD screen. There's a noise inside. You tap the inside of the turret and muffled yells respond. People are inside. Squatters trapped when the wall fell. It's all it's too old a wreck to be the crew. You size the task you size up the task, it's big. There's a lot of of rubble to shift on your own. You'd be visible and vulnerable while working on it. Hmm. Mm-hmm, so choices, 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 mm. we could kill them, we could just get out, okay, let's, let's try and save them, what, what bad can come, might come of it, I don't know, but uh, let's hope, not much. And now we're into the task, and you're worn out. There's just too much trouble to move. It isn't going to work. Oh. The hammering from inside the tank is starting to fade as the initial excitement wears off. 
How do you tell them? Do you even bother telling them? What would it be like being buried alive, knowing that your only hope has given up? Confused and frustrated, you sit down and try to figure out a plan. You're interrupted by a gang of slavers on the prowl for new stock. Time to go. You glance back at the tank full of condemned people. Bad dreams tonight, guaranteed. At least... <clears throat> uh, well, at least uh, we just got tired, which is not real much of a problem. Yeah. Got a lighter. Things are looking good. Not for those people in there, though. Not for them. We tried. We did try. Hopefully that counts for something. Hopefully that last chance, last exciting hope of survival will um, linger with them for a little while. But dead men are dead men, and women probably. Squatters will be squatters, and they'll get themselves in trouble. That's a uh, universal truth, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Over in here, I don't. We don't really have much uh, problem. Many, many squatters no, over here where I live. So it's not something that I have to deal with. But uh, in larger cities, uh, it's a bigger problem because larger cities attract that kind of crowd. And uh, oh, we got a crowbar. Let's, let's switch these around. Thank you. But in the po post apocalyptic landscape of Neo Scavenger, I am going to smash this dude's head in. No, is I'm not. No, I yes, I am. I am going to advance any rents. Is uh, is all right. I won't I won't force you to fight me. That's not your desire. I will leave you alone. Alone and safe. Or temporarily safe because uh, night is coming and uh, oh, got a makeshift sack. Oh, that's not good. Makeshift sack has fallen apart. You need to make a new one. That's what we carry these tarps around for, after all. Let's put something in here. And uh, something comes out. 100% condition makes shift sack. That is nice. That is good. That is very nice. There you go. And I'm thirsty, so I'll drink something and eat something maybe. Let's eat these jelly beans. Jelly bears. Shove them in my mouth hole. Shove them until they have gone through my gullet into my stomach pit. Ah. Let's put this in here and we should go. No, actually, we should explore this shack in the forest. Shack. Forest. Yields. First aid kit. Let's check our condition. Yes, those there. Keep those in there. Let's see. Things are looking pretty good. I don't think we need to carry around these 30 bandages. After all, we should need more than 10. But better to over provision. You know me. Or if you don't, you probably don't. Do. So if you don't, that's how I do it. I over provision. I always pack more than I need because that will uh, ensure that I am never caught off guard and that I am never in bad situations. For example, needing water where in dire dire in um, when I'm di in dire need of water and don't have anything. To boil it with, for example, I don't want to be in that position. Let's eat over here at the last chance, and uh, we should go speak to Hatter and uh, see. Let's also charge our let's charge our batteries. And uh, things 
things should be good we got our <clears throat> we got our belly field we got our objective over in the hidden lake so all good so nice same hunting rifle that, that we saw before i think so nice okay these are i don't know i think these are hunting rifle, rifle rounds might be let's sell let's not let's not sell this let's sell the cell phone let's see let's sell these stupid laptops that i don't need whatsoever for anything at all let's keep this let's sell him this this is medicine so let's keep the medicine let's check our card pretty good in pretty still pretty good in the condition com comparison to how it, it was when we found it let's uh, <coughs> excuse me let's just shift this around sorry and not what I meant to do okay let's see let's se sell this laptop sell this nanobot type of deal thingy my dude be let's sell these shards because they're stupid bring this one in because they're they're free after all uh this i don't know why it is in here but i don't need it let's sell this as well sell this i don't need it sell this i don't know why it's in here it's not anymore so all things considered still pretty good deal got to offload my junk and uh, one hand is it in my right hand right hand or my left hand my left hand be here because I'm a right hand right tended person and so is Philip Kindred as it, as are 90% of the world's population I am led to believe Let's sell bullets. No. Should I sell bullets? Should I get my hunting rifle? Should I? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take my hunting rifle. I'll sell no I'm not I'm not gonna sell my crowbar. I am going to keep it for other other objectives and missions. Because we don't know what hatter will require of us next. But unfortunately, I don't have ammo for the gun, so might be that I don't really want to sell it. Yes, I'm not gonna sell. I don't know what these bullets are for. I think I'm gonna sell them, and I'm going to. They are not identified in there. Doesn't matter. Yeah, just sell everything. Sell everything. Sell out. Don't sell out. Selling out is terrible never want to sell out okay we're still we're already pretty nicely set up as money goes eighteen hundred dollars still okay not when i want to i want to go here to the ether residence or whatever let's speak with him as the elevator cage slows to a stop you see hatter through the iron lattice Writing something on a sheet of plastic, he holds it up to an attending runner, who then hurries to catch the elevator before it's recalled. Dead runners, he says, wiping the plastic clean as you approach. Network's, network's pretty spotty out here, even this close to PMC. Besides, he puts the blank plastic back into a drawer. Media, media diversity makes for more security. He rests his four arms on the desk. So... You have a delivery for me? Oh yes I do. Take this. It's it hardly seems worth a fuss. Ada says Ada says as you hand him the urn. I'd almost forgo my end of the payment to know the story behind it. He places the urn in a safe, then locks it. But it's not worth a hit to my reputation. He reaches into a desk drawer and produces a blank wristband. As agreed, your visitors pass. As you ride the elevator car down through the building's innards once again, you wonder what to expect beyond DMC's massive gates. 
What to expect indeed? What to expect indeed? We got a tracking bracelet. Put it in here. And we didn't get anything else. So let's go. Actually, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Um, it's, it's um, we're 25 minutes in. I'm trying to make these episodes a bit shorter so they can uh, be easier to upload. Uh, my internet connection isn't really all that great. Uh, I um, So I'm gonna leave it here until the next episode of Neo Scavenger. If you've enjoyed hearing me and watching me play, thank you so much. And uh, thank you so much if you return tomorrow for a new episode. And uh, see you then. Bye-bye.